epidural block is indicated in all except patients in hypovolemia, patients with asthma with bronchitis, postoperative pain relief, obstetric analgesia. Answer is A. Hypovolemia. Definitely we can use epidural anesthesia for obstetric analgesia. After giving the epidural block, we pass the catheter and through this catheter we can give the drug for the obstetric analgesia. Similarly, for the post-operative pain relief, we can put the catheter and give the drug continuously for the pain relief. If the patient is having asthma or bronchitis, definitely respiratory system is compromised. But in that condition, we can also give the epidural block. It is not a contraindication. But in the given choices, if the patient is hypovolemic, we should not give epidural block. There are the contraindications for the central neuroxial blockade, spinal and epidural. The contraindications are some are absolute and some are relative contraindication. In absolute contraindication, if there is a refusal by the patient, if the patient has refused that he is not ready for, he or she is not ready for the central neuroxial block. If there is a patient is allergic to the local anesthetic, definitely in epidural block, epidural anesthesia we will inject the local anesthetics. If patient is allergic to the local anesthetic, definitely we will not give the epidural block or the spinal block. If there is an infection at the local site, we will avoid the central block because we may introduce the superficial infection into the central nervous system and patient may have the life threatening complications. If the patient is having increased ICT, in that condition also we should not give centenoxial block because as you give the centenoxial blockade, you will puncture, there is a coning of the medulla and there will be life threatening complications. Other than this, there are some relative contraindications like neuropathy, myelopathy, multiple sclerosis, if the patient is spinal injury, spinal surgery, that kind or the patient is uncooperative patient. psychiatric patient because in central blockade we need a proper position that if uncooperative patient a psychiatric patient that patient will not give the proper position for the central nervous blockade. These are the relative contraindications. So the patient is having the uncontrolled hypertension, patient in shock. hypovolemia, and other than this absolute there is a, if the patient is in the bleeding tendency, we should also not give the epidural or spinal anesthesia. So in the given choices, in hypovolemic patient we should not give the epidural block. 